The week-long Nairobi Festival was a fun-filled fair to celebrate the vibe of the city. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja officially launched the six-day Nairobi Festival at the newly renovated Uhuru Park, which was later extended to make it a seven-day affair. The week of 12th December to 18th December was a colorful one, spearheaded by the Governor of Nairobi, and as a fan of youth, the governor also communicated about this first time event using slang. Ha ni aje kanairo watu wangu. Hasa pa ni super governor Sakaga. Mbukse mwenyewe. Ndio ndio chapia mazee Nairobi Festival ya Pound hiyo imeland. Wiki mzima ya ku celebrate ICT na innovation. At zetu kwenye tajenga wa upcoming na nyenye bizao zimeti na graffiti za wanga. Kacha yetu yenye kuna dish, filamu, luku, nganya na mboka zinawakilisha Kanairo. Now I invite Joe Mumboka Lives to be nice na hizi form ufanya Kanairo ishike. Mta yenye meja talent, ujanja na kwenye hustle ndio usema. Hii itajipa uhuru pa please imesikuwa vizuri ikastand ile nafaa kuanzia 12 hadi 17th ya hii December. Here is a recap of this event at one of the hotspots of Nairobi. This festival aims at bringing together the city's diverse food, culture, music and art and to show the vibrancy of the city as well. The Nairobi Street Festival also aimed at empowering young talents and economic growth in the region. Kenyans trooped to Uhuru Park to experience this and much more. People were treated to entertainment as they walked around the park. Several top musicians performed at this gig alongside all other talent entries, including those from singers, dancers, acrobats, fashion designers, models, photographers, and other performers were given a chance to participate. My name is Zonion Keo. I am a visual artist and a photographer. And today we are here convened at you know, Uhuru Park at the first version of Nairobi Festival. You know, there's so many activities going on. I love the fact that there's so many local artists, and you know, and, you know me being included, running a fest, running an exhibition, an installation next to, um, you know, the stage courtesy of Karakana Online. You know, I love the fact that you know this festival has been able to bring different artists from you know from painters, from photographers, from dancers, from you know um, rap battle artists. You know, so it's been an amazing you know convention of different artists, and you know I I, I love what Sakaja has been doing. You know, it's, it's been able to you know breathe a fresh air on Nairobi Park. You know, on Uhuru Park rather. So yeah, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be connected with every other artist. Yeah, and just to experience the festival in real life. So yeah, it's amazing. And as you guys can see, there's so many things happening. I think they, they are pretty much done in the renovation, you know, the greenery is way better, you know. Being an environmentalist, I'm so keen on, you know, better environmental practices. So um, I'm keen on seeing, you know, Sakaja and his team, you know, just making sure to beautify the, the park, but not only to beautify, to put um, different uh, litter bins everywhere, you know, just to make sure that people do not litter, you know, haphazardly. Yeah, but definitely, you know, if there's any other festival, I'm definitely showing up. Um, you know, I'm keen about, uh, you know, just promoting the local culture, you know, because I'm an artist. So I will definitely always show up for the, you know, the Af Kenyan art scene, because I think it's amazing. And this is an amazing, amazing platform for also other artists to come through, and not only network, but share their pieces for brand visibility. So yeah, today I bought one of my pieces. It's embedded with AR, you know, just to give a more immersive experience. And maybe I'll just walk you guys through so you can see it, you know, in first person. Yeah, but I think it's been amazing, you know. Uh, you know, being a photographer, I was able to capture the amazing aesthetic of, of Nairobi City, you know, just friendship and basically the whole aesthetic, which I think is amazing. And I needed uh, an actual installation, you know. And I have to shout out the guys from Karakana, you know, Karakana Online Exhibition, who were able to, you know, um, install the artwork over here so guys can actually, uh, you know, experience it. My name is Grace, uh, so I've come here, this is my second day here, the last day actually, 
the reason I came here, first of all, I have my cousin who has an art project. He's been able to display it. And I think one of the reasons why I'm actually appreciating this is for him, he's gotten so much exposure, so many people have seen his work and they're reaching out. And yeah, he's, he's building his brand in that way. Also, there's so much culture around here that we don't get to see or experience that often. So for each being put in one place, it's, it's a good experience. There are so many people who have stands right now and they're able to promote, especially online businesses. I think right now they've gotten a platform to promote themselves and uh, get customers and all. Kids are also really having fun. I <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've seen kids being face painted in one area, balloons, you know, it's also nostalgic and it's a good kind of nostalgic, yeah. And for the parents, I'm sure this is a bonding activity for them also, yeah, where they've been given a space to have fun with the kids. Yeah, it's a nice day. Yeah. I'm feeling the vibe because, first of all, there's so much fashion expo. I, I'm into fashion, I love seeing, you know, and people are really dressing up good. Yeah, there's fashion exposure, Nyamachoma, <laughs> like, you know, music. Yeah, it's definitely Nairobi, it's good life. Naitwa Richard Kinyanjui na mimi mtengenezaji wa hizi wooden toys na wooden toys nimekuwa hobby yangu kuy kuifanya apart from learning niko university but he is my best because he na toka actually kutoka kwangu kwangu mwenyewe so na create art naifanya na tumia energy yangu kufanya alafu baadaye naona product benye inanipeleka na gain some, some napata interest kutengeneza more in a kakagari live ukiza yangalie iko na taya naona taya zake venye nimezitengeneza mad god kinis nini iko na iko na vitu zenye unazipata kwa gari gari real inani take like ine za take one day kutengeneza ini because sina zile tools zenye zina itajika Ningekuwa na tools zenye zinahitajika maybe drills hivyo naweza kuwa na take less time alafu material ku resource inakuwa hard kiasi so ndio maana ina take hard kutengeneza ina fast way unaona so those are the challenges zenye napata nikitengeneza but bado na appreciate final product na nafurahia sana at least ile leadership yenye imeingia imeweza kunacha talent zetu so kwangu nafurahia sana so kwangu naweza describe kwa furaha. Okay, the next time wakifungua actually nitakuja na more products, more products. Nimepata watu wengine naonanga YouTube, nimewaona na macho leo. So next time nitakuja ni ita build up kitu wenyewe ita italeta itavutia watu sana. Cuz watu wengi wana appreciate hata kama mtu anunui ananiambia good work. So naona nafurahia juu hiyo. Kuna mtu anakuja anaona product iko sawa. Yezi Arabika, Yezi Arabika, like Yezi Arabika, do you know Arabika, do Yezi Arabika Araka? Because I'm going to use wood. No, no. So, I appreciate you because I'm going to use your wood. I appreciate so final product. I'm going to use it. My name is Lea Masharia. I, am, I work here at SY Voyage Africa. We are a travel company. We do everything travel, but we specialize more on job applications and scholarships. And anyone who wants to travel overseas, we do that. We fasten the visa processing and we help with the documentation and all that. Currently, we are taking people. We have open job opportunities in Canada, UK, Portugal, and Qatar. Then we have free scholarships in China. These scholarships come with, uh, they have free tuition, 
they have free accommodation and the students get to have a monthly stipend. It's like pocket money for them to use on a monthly basis. They can also do part-time jobs, so it's a plus. So we found a platform here at Nairobi Festival and as a company we saw it's better if we would get the platform to market our company. It has been a very, very nice experience. The people here, the turnout has been epic, everything has been well and would like to appreciate such a platform because we get to have everyone and well to engage with everyone and know what they require on a one-on-one. -on -one. More than not everyone can get to access our offices but we are located on Mirage Towers, Westlands, floor M1. I want to thank you and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Event the COVID, by the way, to Nazo to Napata, and do. See, 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 good idea. Cocoa, Atanataka is sick with your own guess. Wait, and the leg was. Yeah. Lily is Kianika Itangamgiat and Belaya Fika. A good little talk, it tampo. Lily is Kia event the co by Nest. Good equipment. So, as I manage the Liquanayo, and the way he answered. Adora Gula Mindy, too, Pole Pole. As I give a one a you end up for the poly, and I for Namasa. But no, 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 Hi, my name is Ada Aru, a fashion model as you can see. Um, today outfit is inspired by the Nairobi County colours. As you can see, I'm the sunflower in a green form. The green represents the earth, environment in the Nairobi County. And so far, the I can say it's good. We're enjoying so many artists around and so many creativity around. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, actually, um, the Nairobi Festival has actually proven the fashion industry that there are so many creatives around and it has expanded the creativity that's happening in Nairobi. And I feel like so many people should engage more, so many people should, like, should support it and also explore in the fashion industry because the creative world is huge, as you can see. And so far, we are loving it because the recognition that we're getting so far is so nice. I love it. Considering the numbers that came, I would say that 90% of the population was the young generation, which was the target market for this. And then I would recommend something to our governor. It's been a good experience. So far they have done a great job, but we're in the technological era. We need some ports around the park for people to charge. 
whereby you can find people can come and work around the park. Still an income generation to the, to the government. I've been here since Monday, courtesy of Yellow Moon Marketing. It's vibe of the city. The footfall here has been quite amazing. I really like Kenyans attending this. It's been a good experience. It was a really good move by our governor to do this. Yeah. I am Bryson. Actually, the event is good. I came since 12 till today. I love the event because I've interacted with new people and seen what the Kenyan youth have. So actually, in Mona rides, there are good food over here, Kenyan food. Napia youth, youth are making talents. Zao, Kama, Art, Kunaadi, they are embracing the youth musician. Mona Sema Team Team, TI! T.I. The biggest name in Africa and you better know. My name is Sigrid. Um, I came for the Nairobi Fest to like have fun. Um, I like it. The food is great. The culture is being promoted. It's fun. Very fun. Yeah. It is way past my expectations. Um, so many people are here. So many activities. So many booths. Businesses. Um, my name is Faith Wambua. I'm a research fellow at the National Museums of Kenya. And currently, we are doing uh, we are exhibiting in the National Festival, Nairobi National Festival, that um, everybody was bringing what they have and what they own in their different different institutions and companies. And we saw it good to bring up uh, whatever we have in the museum for the purposes of marketing the museum, and also for the people to get to interact with what the museum owns. Um, currently, we um, I'm in the in the art science department. Uh, in paleontology section that deals with, uh, we normally conserve and store fossils from different animals. We have paleo paleoanthropology that um, where we keep uh, fossils from human evolution, that is the skulls and also the, 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 other, the other skeleton uh, from different um, ancestors of the human you homo sapiens. Let me call it homo sapiens because it's in the arena of science, uh, it's, uh, it's the science arena. So currently we have um, different uh, collections from the museum. We have um, a Sivatherium, which is it's called a Sivatherium Jumai that lived two million years ago, and it is the it's the ancestor to the current giraffe that we have currently. The current giraffe we call it um, Maasai giraffe or Okapi. We have also come with uh, the long snouted crocodile that lived two million years. It, it was feeding on fish alone only, and currently it's ex extinct. However, we have the collection, uh, we have the fossil in the museum and it was collected in Lake Tukana. Then we have uh, the broad snotted crocodile that lived two million years ago. And then it is the current, it is the ancestor to the current uh, um, crocodile that we have currently in the country. Then we have um, a, a formation of a fossil that is showing the, 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 the teeth of the elephants that we have currently. And also we have a fossil that uh, was called the Notheria, which is which lived 24 to 17 million years ago. And then um, all these were all found in Kenya, in different parts of Kenya, some were in Turkana and others in Rusinga. Um, and then we have now the human evolution story that uh, we, are, we are showing around this side. Um, we have collections for... Um, they were, we had the first tools that were used around 3.3 million years. They were called Lomekwian. They were collected in Lomekwi, a place in West Turkana, and then that were used by the apes at that time. Uh, we have Parandrophus that uh, used to feed on raw food. It has a broad uh, face that, uh, that was using... Um, the broad face was for attachment of more muscles so that they can help in chewing the food to make sure that the food is um, it's good for their, for their system at that time or for the digestive system. Then we have a different branch that where we came from, that is the Omo, the genus Omo. 
Uh, we have the Homo habilis that lived around uh, 1.9 million years. And then we have Homo erectus that was walking on two. It lived around 1.53 million years. We have the mu at the museum we have the whole skeleton. But here we have only um, a cast of the skull because uh, we can't carry the whole thing here because of the public and all that. So we normally keep some of these things uh, in the, the museum for preservation. And then uh, the Homo erectus, they had a um, smaller mode of tools that they were using for, uh, for digging and also for killing animals and all that. And then we have the Ake Homo sapien. The Ake Homo sapien were we, they had the formation of a, um, the current Homo sapiens, or the modern man, but their, their structure, like their facial structure, was more of an ape. That's why they are called primitive or archaic Homo sapiens. And then now we have the modern man. We are by, he came on board at around 200,000 years, and from there now he has been evolving to the current man. There's not much difference, especially in the morphology of the man, but intellectually he has really changed. At that time, when he came on board, like when he evolved, according to science, he was using tools, but after some time he, he needed some more sophisticated tools, whereby he started now using the iron, uh, iron made tools. And then from there now, at some point, there was the involvement. They, they now discovered that they needed to like stop hunting and gathering, and now they needed to be, to be settled. They came up with agriculture, and at that time, at around 2000 years, they started now using the pots for cooking and all that. And over time, it has been changed up to what we have now. And that was the vibe of the city until next year around the same time.